ACDC, but it does not use an A chord, but it does use a C and a D chord. Um, but it starts, it starts with a four finger G chord. And um, the, the main riff itself, you're going to hit a G chord, and then from there you're going to go to the four finger C chord, sometimes called the C add nine. Uh, so that'll sound like this. So I, I played a down strum on the G, and then two ups on the C. And, and then I'm going to go back and forth between those two chords, and I'm going to throw in a D too. So let's see, I'm going to go G to the C, and then to another down on the G. So I have down, up, up, down, um, and then I'm going to go back to the C again, believe it or not. C, G, C, G, and then to the D. So that whole thing is G, C, C, G, C, G, D. Notice that every single thing is a down strum except for the two C's that are right after the very first chord. So one more time, uh, all down strums except you're, you're going to see when I go to the C, um, right after the beginning it's going to be up strums. Down. to the D, even though that sounds like the end of the riff, really it's the beginning of the same exact rhythm, only now starting with the D. So, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again, starting with the G, and when I get to the D, you'll hear that that's the beginning of the same rhythm with the different with the same chords in a different order. So after that D, I played it the D with the down strum. This time I'm going to go to the G. I'm going to play it with two up strums. And then again, I'm done with up strums. It's going to be all down strums alternating between C and G after that. So let's see. Here's the first half of the riff. It was G, C, C, G, C, G, D, And that D was the beginning of the same thing again, um, only starting with the D. D, ups on G. C, G, C. Start the whole thing over. So here the whole entire thing is. Now another cool thing you can do is you can just throw throw down your palm to deaden the strings in between strums to make the riff sound nice and clean. feeling really exuberant, as I often am feeling really exuberant, you can also hit your guitar. Uh, you probably, that, that wouldn't be necessary with an electric guitar, but with an acoustic guitar. That's kind of cool. And then when you get ready for the verse, just hammer the D a little bit. When you get ready, not for the verse, but the chorus, I mean. And in fact, I think the chorus is so cool. Let, let's take let's take a thirty second break, and then I'll teach you the chorus. Okay. All right. Here's a break. See, see it. See it in thirty seconds. Welcome back to uh, You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. Now, if you really want to play the song perfect, you got to listen to ACDC doing it because they're the real deal. Um, I am but a lowly servant of rock and roll, attempting to uh, diffuse the knowledge. Um, so, so go go listen to your ACDC. Um, but when you want to break it down a little bit and try to figure out what's going on, here's here's some hints. So, right now we we, we did the riff. It was so good. Now, now we're doing the chorus. So the chorus is going to start out again with a four finger G. With a bass drum, so this this thing is kind of based off bass drums. I, I hit the root note of a G chord, 
and then I strummed the thin strings of the chord. You. Now I'm going to do a little bass run. The bass run is going to take place all on the fifth string. I'm only going to strum the fifth string now. Um, and I'm going to run from the open fifth string to the second fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the fifth string, like this. So the run is open, second fret, third fret. Notice that for convenience's sake, I'm just leaving my little fingers down because I started out in a, in a four-finger four G, and I'm, I'm on my way to a four-finger C chord, also called a C at nine, so I might as well just leave these two fingers down the whole time. So, so far we've got bass, strum, run, run, run. Now, when I get to the, this, when I, when I walk up to the C add nine, now I'm going to start doing an arpeggio. I'm going to play a, uh, I'm going to play the fifth string and then the fourth string, and then right now, I, I could also pick individual strings, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to play bass, bass, and then I'm going to strum the rest of the chord. So, so far we've got G, strum, fifth string run, bass, bass, strum. Now, I'm going to go back to a, a, what's called a G over B. It's you, you see, it's really like a four finger G chord again, only I don't need my middle finger right now, so I'll just let it float out here. And I'm going to play again, fifth, fourth, and strum, like this. And then I'm going to go to a D chord, and I'm going to play a bass, bass, strum again. Now, I know that you know that a D is a four string chord, but strictly speaking, this is a D over A, a D slash A chord, because I'm going to play the fifth string as the root. Five, four. So what I have is the whole, now the whole thing so far is bass strum on the G, a run up the fifth string, and then bass, bass strum on the C add nine, bass, bass strum on the G over B, and, and on the D actually, just a bass note. And then a big strum. So here's the whole thing so far at uh, speed. You shook me all night long. One more time. You shook me all night long. Now we're not done yet. There's more to this incredible lick. Now that I'm on the D, I'm going to do that same walk up again to the to the C add nine. Again, I'm going to. Descend with a with a bass bass strum on the C add nine a bass bass strum on the uh, on the G over B so so far I've got this you shook me all night long now here comes my walk up again and that's the whole thing actually because the next note is going to be the root. Of a, uh, of a G add five, the four finger G, and a strum to start the whole thing over again. So I'm going to do a G strum, then a run up, then an arpeggio, bass bass strum on the C, again on the G over B, a bass strum on the D, a run up again, bass bass strum on the C, bass bass strum on the G over B, and then starting all over again with the bass strum. Here the whole thing is. You shook me all night long. Yeah, you shook me all night long. And you can hammer the D before you go back to the rest. Enjoy.